Chapter 13, Point of Use Processing. Learning Objectives. As a result of successfully completing this chapter, readers will be able to, one, define the term immediate use steam sterilization and review the industry standards. Two, describe point of use processing and examine its requirements. Three, examine the basic procedures necessary to safely perform immediate use steam sterilization. And four, address point of use processing for heat sensitive and medical devices. Introduction. <clears throat> the majority of processing takes place in central service department. However, there are times when processing is performed at the point of use. There are two basic types of point of use processing. The first is immediate use steam sterilization or IUSS, which consists of cleaning, steam sterilization, and immediate delivery of heat resistant items to the procedure room. This process is designed for instances when there is no time to send the items to the central sterile department for processing. The second type of point of use processing is designed for heat sensitive items. Regardless of the process use, the goal is to provide an item that is safe for patient use. This chapter will examine methods of point of use processing. Definition. Point of use processing. That which occurs when a medical device is processed immediately before use and or close to the patient care area. Another definition, immediate use steam sterilization or IUSS. Process designed for cleaning, steam sterilizing and delivery of patient care items for immediate use, formerly known as flash sterilization. Immediate use steam sterilization. A brief history. In patient care, there were always unexpected events that required quick action. Instrument demands became urgent when there is an immediate patient need and no instruments are ready for use. In previous years, flash sterilization was designed for use in the operating room for emergencies and immediate use. Flash sterilization was a process where unwrapped instruments were steam sterilized using an abbreviated cycle, a cycle with no dry time, in order to ready the instruments for patient use. In 2009, the name flash sterilization was replaced with a new term and process, immediate use steam sterilization, IUSS. Items processed using IUSS are cleaned according to the manufacturer's instructions for use, placed in containers specifically designated for IUSS sterilization, and sterilized according to the manufacturer's instructions. See figure 13.1 for an example. What happened to flash? Many central service professionals will remember that the term flash sterilization and may ask what happened to that term. Flash referred to the abbreviated steam sterilization cycle of an unwrapped device. With the move to immediate use steam sterilization, IUSS, the process shifted from an unwrapped container to a sealed contained device that provides greater protection from contamination during transport. Processing devices for immediate use can be safe and effective, but only if all steps recommended by the device manufacturer are followed. This includes proper cleaning, decontamination, sterilization using the correct cycle, and a septic transfer to the point of use. Those performing IUSS are responsible for processing every item in the same way that it best ensures it is safe for reuse. Shortcuts such as improper cleaning in the interest of saving time can jeopardize patient safety. Following validated manufacturer's instructions for use and controlling process quality helps to protect patients from infections and prolongs the life of instrumentation. A multi-society IUSS position paper providing information about the change to IUSS was developed in 2011 by the Association for Advancement of Medical Instrumentation or AAMI, AMI. Also participating were the Association of Perioperative Registered Nurses, AORN, the International Association of Healthcare Central Service Materials Management, ISHM, the Accreditation Association for Ambulatory Care, ASC, 
Quality Initiative and the Association of Surgical Technologists, which is AST. The paper provided support for the change to IUSS and offered additional information about the process. <clears throat> standards and recommended practices. Several associations have developed standards to help ensure IUSS procedures are performed properly. Association for the Advancement of Medical Instrumentation, AAMI. Standards are not law. However, they are the recognized industry standards for sterilization and may be relevant in any legal proceedings. AAMI, AMI, standards represent a national consensus and many have been approved by the American National Standards Institute, ANSI or ANSI. ANSI AMI ST79, Comprehensive Guide to Steam Sterilization and Sterility Assurance in Healthcare Facilities is a broad document covering recommended practices for steam sterilization. The document states that IUSS can be performed when deemed appropriate and when all of the following conditions are met. Items are needed for immediate use. Items are disassembled and thoroughly cleaned according to the manufacturer's instructions for use with the approved detergents and water to remove soil, blood, body fats, and other substances. Lumens are brushed and flushed under the water with appropriate cleaning solutions and items are thoroughly rinsed. The device, the device manufacturer's written instructions on sterilization cycle and exposure times, temperature settings, and dry times are followed. And finally, processed items are transported in a manner to prevent contamination. The Association for Perioperative Registered Nurses, AORN, publishes its guidelines for perioperative practices, formally titled Perioperative Standards and Recommended Practices. Surveying agencies refer to AORN guidelines as well as the AMI standards, but the AORN guidelines state that IUSS should be kept to a minimum and should only be used in selected clinical situations and in a controlled manner. IUSS should only be used when there is no time to process the items use using the preferred wrapped method. Devices undergoing IUSS should be subjected to the same decontamination process as in AORN's Guidelines for Perioperative Practice Sterilization and Disinfection Guidelines for Perioperative, perioperative Practice 2015. The items must have a manufacturer's instruction for use for IUSS Manufacturer's recommendations for cleaning, exposure times, temperatures and drying times are followed. Processed items are transferred to the point of use aseptically. Staff is educated on the IUSS process. And finally, record keeping allows for the tracking of the device after use. Surveying agencies. IUSS is designed for urgent situations when there is not sufficient time to send an item through the normal ter terminal sterilization process. Surveying agencies are closely monitoring IUSS to ensure everything is being done by the healthcare facility to decrease this practice and ensure that, there, that where and when IUSS is practiced, the process is done correctly. Definition terminal sterilization. The process by which surgical instruments and medical devices are sterilized in, in their final containers, allowing them to be stored until needed. The Joint Commission. In 2009, the Joint Commission, or TJC, revised its position statement on IUSS and emphasized that three critical steps of processing must be followed to ensure sterility. TJC requires that complete documentation must be available for each IUSS cycle, so the device is traceable to the patient if a problem should arise. IUSS cycles were run in how to re In the recent past, TJ focused on how many IUSS cycles were run and how to reduce the amount of IUSS sterilization in any facility. Now, in addition to focusing on IUSS reduction, TJC surveyors are focused on the IUSS process to ensure all process are completed properly. They expect the same safeguards and quality controls to be in place, regardless of who operates a sterilizer or where the sterilizer is located. 
the following are four key areas TJC surveyors will follow their attention, fo focus their attention. Cleaning and decontamination. Before an item can be sterilized, it must be properly cleaned and decontaminated according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Sterilization. The manufacturer's instructions must specify the type of cycle. For example, gravity displacement or dynamic air removal and length of time needed for sterilization. Some instruments may, be, may require an extended cycle or specified dry time. Some instruments cannot undergo IUSS at all. The manufacturer's instructions for use must specify that the item can undergo IUSS cycles. Transfer to the sterile field. Aseptic transfer from the sterilizer to the sterile field is required to prevent recontamination of the sterilized item. And finally, frequently, frequency of use of IS, IUSS. Lack of instrumentation is not an excuse for IUSS. A plan should be in place to reduce IUSS cycles. Examples of TJC findings could include failure to adequately clean the instruments before IUSS, inappropriate use of chemical indicators, and unsafe transporting of instruments back to the procedure room after they have been sterilized. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The Social Security Act mandated the establishment of minimum health and safety standards that must be met by providers and suppliers participating in the Medicare and Medicaid programs. These standards are found in the 42 Code of the Federal Regulations. The Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services has designated the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, to administer the standards compliance aspects of these programs. Like the TJC, the CMS has established requirements regarding the use of IUSS. The same multiple step process used to prepare instruments for terminal sterilization must be completed for IUSS. Parameters for all phases of the sterilization cycle must be determined by consulting the IFU for the instrument's sterilizer and containment device. Each IUSS cycle must, be, must use physical monitors and chemical indicators. At least weekly, the sterilizer must be tested with a biological test for each IUSS cycle. If IUSS must be used for an implant, a tracking system should be in place to trace the IUSS load to that patient. Medical instruments and devices processed using IUSS must be contained in a packaging system labeled for the IUSS cycles used. Items sterilized by IUSS must be used immediately. The Center for Medicaid and Medicare Services it also indicates that IUSS is not acceptable in the following circumstances. When sterilizing implants except in documented emergency situations, for post-procedure de decontamination of instruments used on patients with the possible creutzfeldt jakob disease or CJD or other prion diseases, when devices or loads have not been validated for the specific cycle used, and on single-use devices. Procedures for immediate use steam sterilization. Safe and effective IUSS requires that all steps in the process be done properly each and every time to achieve sterilization and maintain sterility of instruments and instrument sets all the way to the point of use and properly sterilize it, sterilized or contaminated instruments used in a surgical procedure can result in serious concerns from surgical site infections to increased costs and legal liability. Pre-cleaning. Pre-cleaning of instrumentation is a necessary step to help promote effective, thorough decontamination and sterilization. AORN guidelines state that the items should be kept free of gross soil during surgery. These standards are critical factors when items are to be prepared, pre prepared using IUSS. Soil is easier to remove when items are properly pre-treated in the OR. Point of use decontamination. 
thorough decontamination of medical devices is required for IUSS to be safe and effective. Manufacturers of sterilizers and medical devices assume that the level of contamination has been adequately reduced on the surfaces of instruments before they are placed in the sterilizer. If items are not properly cleaned, they cannot be sterilized. Standard precautions require that staff handling contaminated devices wear the appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE. This includes gloves, hair covering, eye protection, masks, fluid impervious gown or jumpsuit, and shoe covers. PPE should be removed and discarded and not worn outside of the cleaning decontamination area. Manufacturer instructions for the instrument processing should be available and consulted to ensure proper cleaning and decontamination before IUSS. These may contain special cleaning instructions, such as the disassembly process and the recommended use of cleaning solutions and mechanical cleaners. Instruments must be cleaned as thoroughly at the point of use as they would in the CS de decontamination area. Items must be decontaminated in an area designed to clean instruments and never in a scrub or hand washing sink. Surveying agencies will check to ensure that the staff is trained in proper cleaning methods. Prior to placing instruments in, a ster in the sterilizer, instruments must be carefully inspected to ensure they are clean and functional. Instruments must be placed in the sterilizer in a manner that facilitates full steam contact. Immediate use steam sterilization cycles. Steam sterilizers used for IUSS are usually placed in close proximity to user areas. See figure 13.2 for an example. There are two types of steam cycles commonly used, gravity displacement and dynamic air removal, which includes the pre-vacuum and steam flush pressure pulse cycles, or SFPP. The type of cycle to be used depends on the manufacturer's instruction for use. See figure 13.3, which shows minimum IUSS cycles as identified by AMI. Note, steam sterilization processes are discussed in detail in chapter 14. Consult the manufacturer's instructions for IFU for exposure times and cycles when using containment devices or packaging systems. Safe transport after immediate use steam sterilization. Instruments subject to IUSS should be transported to the point of use in a manner that reduces the potential for contamination. Failure to take appropriate measures to protect IUSS processed instruments after their removal from the sterilizer and during transport to the point of use will increase the potential for contamination and patients' risk for acquiring a surgical site infection. Note. Use of the single wrap methods helps to protect ster sterile instruments. However, this method cannot be used unless the sterilizer has the single wrap function built into the system. Utilizing sealed rigid containers approved for IUSS offers the best protection for the sterile instruments. Instruments processed in these rigid containers still cannot be stored for later use unless approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Therefore, the items must be used as soon as possible after the sterilization cycle is complete. Staff Education Educating staff members who perform IUSS is important to decrease the possibility of errors that could occur during the process. Staff members should receive initial training and competency assessment, followed by continuing education at regular intervals to review and update their knowledge. I'm going to read you the chart on the bottom of page 296, figure 3.3, AMI, minimum recommended IUSS cycles. They're, they're in three to four different categories, type of sterilization, load configuration, temperature and time. Gravity displacement. The load configuration is non-porous items only, routine metal, metal instruments and no lumens, for example, at 270 degrees Fahrenheit or 132 degrees Celsius, and the time is three minutes. 
Also, with gravity displacement, non-porous and porous items, rubber or plastic items, or items with lumens should be sterilized together at 270 degrees Fahrenheit, 132 degrees Celsius, and for 10 minutes. Pre-vacuum sterilization. Non-porous items only, such as routine metal instruments and no lumens at 270 degrees Fahrenheit, 132 degrees Celsius for three minutes. Non-porous or porous items, rubber or plastic items, items with lumens sterilized together at 270 degrees Fahrenheit, 132 degrees Celsius for four minutes. And finally, steam flush pressure, pressure pulse, SFPP, non porous or mixed non porous or porous items according to manufacturer's use at 270 degrees Fahrenheit or 132 degrees Celsius for four minutes. Continuing on page 296, quality control monitors for immediate use steam sterilization. The efficacy of every sterilization cycle must be monitored. The quality assurance of each process includes physical, chemical, and biological monitors. All of these monitors should be carefully watched and reviewed to identify potential issues. Note, sterilization monitoring process is discussed in Chapter 17. A dynamic air removal test, as the name implies, is only done in dynamic air removal sterilizers. This test should be run each day by the sterilizer in use. Record keeping. IUSS records allow for traceability of every item sterilized to the patient. It is important to keep accurate and complete records that include evidence of cycle performance, such as sterilization cycle, printouts, and biological and chemical indicator results. Sterilizer cycle records should include patient identification. There must be a way to identify the patient on whom the items were used in the event of a problem, such as a sterilization cycle failure or the patient acquiring a healthcare associated infection. The sterilizer and sterilizer cycle identification, the instruments or instrument sterilized in the cycle, cycle parameters, the reason the IUSS cycle was run, for example, instrument dropped on the floor, operator signature and other identifications. No national standard exists for how long sterilized records should be kept. Local and statutes requirements and individual facility policies should be followed. Point of use processing for heat sensitive devices. Low temperature disinfection and sterilization process. Advancing sterilization technologies have changed the way procedures are performed. The medical devices used in many procedures have changed as well. Many of the medical devices used today are heat sensitive. In other words, Processing them in a heated process such as with steam will lead to damage. Facilities must look to low temperature methods to safely process those heat sensitive items. There are several types of low temperature options for point of use processing. Selection is determined by the types of items that will be processed and their compatibility with that low temperature process. In some cases, the decision to process heat sensitive items at point of use is made in an effort to reduce instrument turnaround time. In others, it is made to reduce the distance that the unwrapped process items must be transported before use. The choice of point of use processing for heat sensitive medical devices include high level disinfection, HLD, or sterilization. The level of biocidal pro 